Hey guys, welcome to the next part of the vlog uh, assignment and today I will talk about the movie Call Me By Your Name. So, I, like, this, I know this movie is popular but this was like the first time that I've watched this movie and I think the plot and the story is kind of quite interesting for me and also the characters. Uh, most of the characters in the movie are built and told like based on Elio's perspective so we don't get m much chance to see them but but that also shows that like this film is like Elio's own journey of finding his inner discovery and after the film ends I feel like the supporting characters like Elio's family still has a complete image and leave like some good impression in the hearts of viewers by their small actions and appearance throughout the movies like for example uh, Elio's father is described as a person who usually laugh and friendly gesture with everyone he met and when he like when he's jumping to the table with a happy face to eat or when he waves goodbye to Oliver it also is his like friendliness and his loveliness character but however like there's a little conversation at the end of the movie shows like a deep secret that he has been hiding for a long time ago it makes me think like behind a person person's lap there could always be like something hidden behind and everything is not always simple as we look from outside and for Elio's mom uh, there's there are a few scenes that's that describe her as uh, like in the role of mother for example like when she saw Elio wearing a Jewish symbol necklace like Oliver she only taps the necklace and keeps silence or when she patted her, her son's head on the way they come back home from the train station that Elio was crying that is just like for me it's like an admirable personality of caring in a mother that don't need to use language to describe and throughout the movie uh, Oliver and Elio's love is expressed by calling the other by their name and one detail I noticed throughout the movie was the moment that two characters touching each other hands like there was like maybe five times the first one is when Oliver asks Elio to go swimming and they hold their hands for a while as a way to for Elio to say yes with it and the next one is when Oliver is mad at Elio and Elio trying to put his hands out, hands out on the beach to solve the conflict and Oliver respond him with the fake arm and try to shake their hand. And the next one is when followed by a nervous touch as they stand outside, stood and talk outside the balcony. And the fourth time is when they are in the public touching each other hands and with like shyness because they are outside so they don't want to want to be like too obvious for the people. And then at the end, we saw, when we saw those two hands clasp together, the viewer, like, it's basically like we went through a long journey with these two characters. And in this movie, every scenery in the film is shot simply, like not too fussy, such as like sunny summer days with a garden where Oliver and Elio can play or open streets corner around the city. And I, I think all of those scenes become more beautiful when it helps viewers to see the clear, clear, clearer the stories of the protagonist, and at the scene that marks the beginning for the re relationship of Oliver and Elio, where they was calling, where they were calling each other name at the uh, Garda Lake, we can see like how pictures being used perfectly to tell the stories, when we only hear the voice of characters, and the rest is a scene of ruins with a pair of pigeons standing on the wall. That is when the directors use pictures to tell the story without like interaction of human. For me, that that was like the best thing you could talk about this movie, like direct how perfect that directors use images to tell story instead of like conversation and stuff like that. And he used it very delicious and carefully. That's why I was enjoy this movie, even though I don't really watch that much movie about like lgbtq and stuff like that but like it 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 have a good impression on me so that was my review for call me by your name thank you so much for listening